what's up guys my name is rob scott and uh today i'm gonna be showing you guys my 1993 fxr convertible i picked this bike up eight months ago uh, actually a 30-hour round trip out to colorado picked it up from a retired fire captain who actually ridden this bike to sturgis 15 times first day i brought it home tore it all apart put the narrow glide front end because he had put a wide glide front end on there when i first bought this bike i actually had a broken collarbone so i couldn't go to my normal t-bar height that i like so i ended up going with the six and a half pullbacks from thrash and supply with the one inch extension and the high bend bars it gave me to a high enough position that i was comfortable in but didn't really hurt my shoulders and then after the bars and risers, got this rad uh, two-up seat from Saddleman. They did a full tuck and roll with the custom TC logo on there for me. Really gets me to a really nice, a little bit more forward and comfortable position. I've ran these seats on basically all of my bikes in the past, and uh, these are definitely my go-to. I did put on the Memphis Shades Rio Grande windshield in the dark smoke. Uh, we do a lot of longer, like overnighters, maybe a week-long travel, and uh, having that windshield for the wind coverage, not fighting the wind the whole day, uh, it's really a game changer. So and then on these longer rides, even like the daily rides, uh, I hate having stuff in my pockets, my phone, my wallet. I did end up doing the Thrash and Supply utility bag, uh, not the standard handlebar bag. Um, it fits really nice in between these high bend bars, kind of gets it off the risers for me. Because I do have my start controls mounted to my headlight eyebrow. So it kind of opens up this space for me. So uh, down here in Southern California, we got some really rad canyons. I like to hit them hard. So for uh, some ground clearance, I went with the P54s in the front and the P54 slims in the rear. And also to get that extra ground clearance, uh, I did pair this with the Batubo 14 inch rear suspension. And for the front suspension, I got the tracker die plus Plus two damper rods to get me that extra height. And then I did pair that with the uh, Race Tech springs with the gold valve emulators. So this bike currently does still have the stock 80 inch motor. I wanted a little bit more pep in the steps, so I put the Makuni 42, an SNS teardrop air cleaner, and the Thrash and Supply. OG exhaust with a removable baffle. For an 80 inch Evo with a couple mods on it, this thing for sure rips. So some of these uh, older bikes, this one's from 93, uh, the lighting's a little bit lackluster for me at night. So I did add the full LED front headlight as well as the rear tail light. And uh, while I was doing the electrical, I did add a LED digital fuel gauge. So once I got the bike dialed in how I liked, I started going over some cosmetics. I did powder coat the front and rear mags, a bunch of some motor components. One of my hobbies is I like to paint on the side. So uh, this bike has actually been repainted twice. This current paint job is a metal flake with the House of Color root beer candy. This is one of my more intricate, more detailed paint jobs that I've done. I'm super proud of this one. This bike's definitely one of my favorites over the past. So I really enjoy picking these bikes up, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up, changing the whole look, putting all the parts on there that I like, making it mine, and then uh, on to the next one. I usually sell them. This one might be for sale in the next couple months. Thanks guys for checking out my 1993 FXR convertible. Gotta get back to the shop. Peace. <laughs>